Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on using relative effusion rates to find an unknown molar mass. So effusion means leaving. Okay, so they've got something uh, seeping out, so like a little hole in a balloon or something like that, and some gas is leaking out. And some gas leaks out slower than other gas. Okay, so what you're going to see is the bigger the gas, the slower it leaks out. The larger the, mole the molecular mass, the slower it leaks out. So the lighter gases will leak out faster than the, than the heavier gases. That's, a, that's what we figured out. So this is a formula that we're going to, to use, and this is called Graham's Law of Effusion. And the law is R1 over R2, those are rates, equals A2 over A1. Okay, and those are molar masses. All right, so R1 is rate, rate of something, R2 is rate of the different gas, a2 would be the molar mass of that different gas, and A1 is the molar mass of the original. Okay, so you're given some information here. A gas is made up of atoms uh, escaped through a pinhole 1.87 times as fast as chlorine gas. Right? So 1.87 times as fast. Okay, that's going to be... Um, to 1, like 1.81 to 1. Alright, so we'll see that this, if, if let's use, let's do R1 as unknown gas, R2 as chlorine gas. So if, it, if R1 goes 1.87 times faster, then it's going to be 1.87 to 1. 1.87 times faster than 1, okay? So if 1.87 is the unknown, then A1 must be the unknown, and A2 must be the molar mass of chlorine gas, okay? So what's the molar mass of chlorine gas? Well, the chlorine gas, remember, it's a molecule, so it's Cl2, so I go to chlorine, it's 35.473, but I have to double that. So 35.473 times 2, okay, gives you 35.473. Um, Seventy point nine zero six grams per mole. Okay, so that's going to go um, here. All right, so let's let's put it together. One point eight seven equals the square root of seventy point nine zero six over a one. Alright, so I've got a square root, so I'm trying to get A1 by itself, so I get a square of the square root, so I need to square the other side. 1.87 squared, okay, equals 70.906 over A1. Let's get A1 up to the top. A1 times 1.87 squared equals 7.8. 906. Then I want to divide by 1.87 squared. All right, so I'm going to divide twice. So I have 70.906 equals divided by 1.87 equals divided by 1.87 equals. And I've got A1 equals 
two, um, eight. Well, I look on the periodic table and I look for any element that's close to 20.28, okay? And so I'm looking, 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 and I see that neon is 20.18, and that's close, all right? So that's, that's my guess. I'm gonna say that that is neon gas, okay? I think you can do this.